Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Gio, also known as the Nerd Basement on Twitter and Instagram. Here we have Divinity Original Sin 2 um, Enhanced Edition or Definitive Edition. Wow, my apologies. So today I want to try something a little bit different. Um, instead of a kind of a regular playthrough, I'm going to do some sort of a, an evil playthrough, if you will. Um, I am going to roleplay as if I am Skeletor from He-Man, uh, Master of the Universe. So I am going to play this as evil as I can. Uh, I did create a character um, with such attributes. Now, for those familiar with the game, you'll notice that I'm, I'm already at Fort Joy. So what I've done is I've already skipped the tutorial mission, uh, the tutorial slash boat um, so essentially what's happened is you find yourself uh, strapped to a surgical table with a collar around your neck this collar prevents you from using some sort of uh, uh, spell okay um, in this case uh, it's indicated here by the source muted um, so what's happened is they took you prisoner you don't know why there's a bunch of people called magisters who have you kind of held up here they have a, a, other people as well and there was some sort of a, you go through the boat and there was some sort a, of powerful witch who was just able to snap her fingers, take the collar off, and she ignited the entire ship. And what that did, that kind of led other enemies to the ship uh, called Void Woken. Uh, these Void Woken attack the ship. You make your escape um, and you find yourself here on Fort Joy. Okay, and for some reason, when you wake up, you think there's some sort of higher power that had hand in you making it here alive. Okay, uh, which is kind of <laughs> funny because I am not alive. I am an undead character. Uh, let's see if I can show you some of the skills that I've already used. So, again, I'm, I'm going to roleplay as Skeletor. Skeletor is, some, is a kind of a battle mage, I think. So, he's kind of able to use sword as well as wand so i'm gonna go with a higher intelligence build here um for for now uh, that's the way i'm gonna start it okay um so yeah i went with uh intelligence with one point into constitution now for here i went with uh, necromancer as well as summoning so you'll notice that I have two points in here already. Again, I am still only level one, but the reason why I have, uh, again here, I only put two points here and one point here, but the reason why they're doubled up is because of the talent Lone Wolf, okay? I plan on doing this with one other character. Now, Lone Wolf provides two AP, uh, additional two AP, 30% vitality, 30% physical armor and magic armor, and doubles the points in attributes okay so that i think is gonna help me a lot i do have another playthrough that i'm doing kind of uh, alone where i have a four person party and it is uh, it's a little different and i also have another playthrough that i'm doing with a friend of mine with lone wolf and it seems to be a little bit easier so um that's that's the way i'm going here uh, the next skill I think I'm going to do is, uh, the next talent, I'm sorry, is Opportunist. So it gives uh, gives me the ability to perform attacks of opportunity, although I'm, I'm on the fence with this one really because I plan on doing a lot more ranged with Skeletor here. So that is the character in essence. So here he is, Skeletor. He's just in rags. There's a source collar. I did take off his mask I am actually gonna put it back on because people will be uh, indifferent to you if you have um, if you just show them your face so I'm gonna hide my face now um, and yeah let's let's get on with it I want to pick up shells just to kind of get money really I really you know I don't haven't noticed a use for it now I'm not terribly in my other playthroughs max I have on um, at the beginning stages of act two so I'm not an expert by any means so again I'm still very much in the learning process of, of doing this so take that into mind when I when I play through here I am probably gonna do a lot of things wrong a lot of things 
that, you know, we're not supposed to be doing. But again, that's because I'm st also still very much in the learning process with this. So here we uh, discovered a waypoint. Bowstring. Now, I am going to pick up a lot of stuff, mostly for selling purposes. But The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Why? Tell them everyone's got to stick to their own kind. I guess. Well, the people... Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Um... Yeah, do you the think child like looks one? at you straight on, unafraid, searching the shadows cloaking your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong. Or crazy. That's no one himself. cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside, anyway. Do you know they're gone now. Are? The Magisters took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. It's not safe out here. Well, you didn't die. No, I'm going to do a lot of lying. You know, again, I'm going to play this evil. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. Why doesn't he seem scared? I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. Okay. So that was our first human encounter. Thanks. Let's head on this way. So our objective, our main objective is to, is to leave this place, Fort Joy. But we'll get to that point. Void Woken! Those are the same beasts that sank our ship! Damn, they made it to shore! Okay, now I can attack them uh, before they attack me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a hornet. Go next to him. Now, what's great about the incarnates is they have an attack of opportunity, so if any enemy moves by them, they will uh, strike at them. So, mosquito swarm. And go leaping. Can I also attack you? Awesome. So they're basically going to be uh, my meat shield. Alright, let's also get another totem here. Another meat totem. And then, hopefully I have sight on him. Did I get him? Yep killed him. Let's move over a little bit so I have sight on him and um, end my turn. Those things at bay. Apparently, it doesn't. Round and eaten by a void woken. I wonder which order. Now here's the thing. Um, because I'm undead, 
healing potions actually hurt me, but poison um, heals me. So, regular heal potions hurt, poison heals. Now, one thing, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm not sure who I'm gonna have as a sidekick. I haven't really thought of that quite yet. Let's read this. No sense in picking up all these books to get some of the crafting recipes. Oh, I want you to follow me. Okay. And these things aren't worth very much, but doing it anyways. So first NPC, the Red Prince. He could be cool to have. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You know what, no. Mm. <laughs> this is a tough decision because I haven't thought of this yet. Let me, um, yeah, let's, let's get the Red you Prince for now. a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Never before have you seen a lizard such as this. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer, or a duelist. You lock eyes with his, two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I suppose that's what passes for wit in your neck of the... bog, I should think. But wait, I know you, don't I? Yes, of course. Why, only a few hours ago, I saw you skulk about that ship like a lost child in search of its mother. But you weren't a lost child, were you? You weren't an innocent at all. Word has reached me, you see, through a very sour grapevine indeed, that you turned your back on your fellow passengers. Left us to fend for ourselves. I did do that. So much easier, isn't it, to look out for oneself alone? Um, again, I'm gonna try and be, like, cunning here. Um, yeah. Of course I did. Takes more than some oversized cuttlefish to get the better of me. Besides, you'll find I wasn't complaining. I was making a point. About oneself. Alone. So, if there's nothing further... Hmm. Yeah, ask him how he knows. Out of the mouths of babes. A couple of children survive the ordeal with their tattletale tongues Bastards. in perfect working order. What are you doing there? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me. What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Yeah, I don't want to see it again. Touché. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Yes, but these weren't castles in the sky, were they? Quite obviously, I was musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? I uh, don't know who you are. Well, more's the damn pity, isn't it? For I am the Red Prince, the All-Conqueror, the World-Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Of course you know me. I don't know you. There's a brief moment's pause, 
during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Now maybe I can get that back. Truly. Well, a kind offer indeed. Even if it comes from the very person that left me and others to rot on a sinking ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do look able, though. Despite your selfish tendencies. Tendencies to which I'm no stranger, truth be told. Fine, I accept. On one condition. What's that? For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of the mystics of my kind. Okay. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Sure. Jolly good. Uh, should I tell this guy I'm undead? Yeah. Oh, my word. How you do astound. Come now, did you really think a handful of linen towels can fool me? I guess not. But don't worry. I have studied the arcane arts for years, including necromancy and demonology. I do not hold the petty prejudices of common folks. In fact, I prefer the exceptional in all things. Your secret is safe with me. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. Sorry. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Okay, so what do I want this guy to do? Can, you know, because I'm going to be mostly ranged, I want someone who can handle the most of the damage I don't need a tank I want a, a, a DPS here so I don't want him to do our arcane arts don't want him to do rogue rogue type stuff let's just say a fighter that's kind of what I want you to do very well onwards then to victory or death hopefully not death got it the red prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, milord. That's not happening. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. All right, so I got the Red Prince. Let's see if he is uh, needing any updates or upgrades. No, no. All right. I'm not gonna play as him. All right, let's head off this way. A black cat. Some would see this as an omen. All right, I have two cats next to me. One, two, long dead of the group. Three, four, pretty shallow the shore. This game does quick save quite frequently, which is which is good because it definitely needs to uh, now needs to happen. Speak. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. Okay. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I kind of want to do that. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. 
whatever she may ask. Hmm. I'm gonna mind my business here. A truce that pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. No. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. Oh boy. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. There's one fewer Magister for us to worry about. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Let's loot her body. Gonna do some inventory Where management is here. He? Let's transfer this over to the prince. I'm gonna leave him a scroll if I can. Whoops. Don't want to have all of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to split that. Where do I split it? Split, split, split. Mercy. Split. Mom wasn't kidding. Come on, dude. Sent to Skeletor. What else can I give you, dude? Let's see. You're gonna need a weapon, right? I'm not sure what you have, but you can take that. I have this. Send to you. I'm gonna make him kind of like a, a duelist, I think. Um, I think. That's gonna be it for you. What do you have for weapons? Okay, so you have a one-handed sword and the armor for the shield. It's kind of where I'm at. Let's make you a duelist, though. So you're gonna need some stuff. That's about all I have. Okay. Let's head on in here. I find any bread. I want no trouble. Okay, so here is one or other NPC bread you can recruit. Toes the same. And Your griff teaches you to bully others. I thought she was here. Pathetic. Huh. I thought she was you here. You keep his name I'm... out of your mouth, you filthy cud chewer. <laughs> Have your cud. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? All right. Maybe. Um. Yeah. How are you? Get bent. Oh, get bent. Nice. What are you making? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, then. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Hmm. Testing. Yeah. Nothing of mine needs testing. Oh. Pay or walk. Just don't waste any more of my time. Yeah, what's, uh, what are you working on? Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. What do you remember of her? Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? 
Who invented these collars? She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Mm, I do, actually. Can you loosen it? For you? <laughs> Hell no. Mm. You do not manipulate me. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove. Fine. All manner of things. Have a look. Ah, right. Don't need. Probably cannot afford any of this stuff, so I have 50 gold pieces. Lockpicks would be nice to have, but I can't afford any of them. I can't. I'll get one. Now, another perk for undead is they can pick any lock with their fingers. Which is cool. Take my leave. I steal any of your stuff. Oh no, I forgot to get a bedroll. I really need a bedroll. Now a bedroll, what that does, add it to your inventory, it's a quick, easy HP boost. You get full HP, you get the rest of condition. Good deal. Except, I forgot to pick it up. I'll have to pick it up when I see another one. They're just Where doing a lot of a lot of he? looting. Can't get to that one there. All right, let's okay. Let's come on up here. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Mego. I haven't seen him. Have you seen nope. him? Why are you looking for him? None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a me go. Will do. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Okay. I told him at noon exactly, didn't I? All right, I'm gonna quick save here because uh, I know I'm gonna be getting into a, a little bit of an argument with someone. Not him. Greetings, child. I find myself in your so-called divine lands, yet I feel his absence deep in my heart all the same. No disrespect, eh? I'm used to calling all the divine's offspring that way. Absent though our father may be. Right. I never knew what that guy said, so I was interested in seeing that. Okay. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Now, because I haven't gone into initiative yet, I haven't got into battle, I can actually bring this guy here. Um, just to have there. Now, i got to see what he has for a feat. All right, he does have opportunity to escape. Okay. Nope, don't want to do that quite yet. Sure. Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're you glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. I have no idea. I've never done it this way. I'll play my hand. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. How well, did you get that? your fee then. Blaming a bloke you just met for your misfortune, yeah. are you? Yep. Ease off, or I'll go ahead and double what you owe. Hmm. Now, why would I go and do a thing like that, Freshy? I don't owe you nothing. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. Oh, nothing. Take a hike, then. I don't need your pocket lint. And by the by, you ought to find Griff in the kitchen. He's always looking for more of... Oh. Interesting. I've always had to fight that guy. 
So that's pretty cool. They didn't have to do it this time. All right, so let's go meet Griff. He's got a mission we're gonna do, and then probably finish up this uh, this episode. I really wish I had um, a better weapon. Oh, does he still have his weapons out? Okay. No, put it away. What are you doing? You keep his name out of your mouth. I got this waypoint. I think Griff is back here. So this is Fort Joy. What a crumbling disaster. Surely you'll have one. Scram, snake face. Griff is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. What? You in charge? <clears throat> Who's asking? He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light, watching it glint. I'm listening. Hmm. So I've heard from a good friend. Is there anything I can help him with? He points the tip of his blade at the grisly sight of the elf hunched over, clutching his knees in the cage. I solve my own problems. What do you know about the cure? They'll cure you of your sauce. Nightshade will cure you of an headache, too. Can you get out of here? Can't help you there. <laughs> if I could, I wouldn't be here peeling goddamn potatoes. Okay, let's talk to this elf. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. Seems pretty injured here. This clown caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. And how do you know? Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk, or he'll die quiet. I'll find those supplies and give them back to All you. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. All right. I'm gonna do that. See if I remember where it is, though. I believe it's up this way. Here's another NPC. I don't want her to join us. This looks like the crate I'm after. But where are the contents? Where are the contents? Don't know if I. That's it right there. Again, in the other playthroughs, I've had to fight her. I'm not going to do it this time. Let's avoid confrontation. Just because I'm evil doesn't mean I need to kill everyone, right? Gotta be cunning as well. Griff glances from his blade. To you, Griff tears into one of the oranges with both hands. Juice squirts through his hands as he desperately rips through the rind. Looks like everything's accounted for. Now the important question. No. Who's the thief? He was he was gonna kill that person for stealing one orange. <laughs> he just wants to see the orange. This Griff is nothing but a thug. Don't give up Stingtail so easily. Why? 
because Stingtail is a lizard. This I think this guy's gonna be a problem. Yeah. That's a kid. Your guy's free to go. He should be fine. Eventually. Yeah, I don't know if the red prince is gonna work out. It is done. And quickly. I thank you. I hold my end of the bargain. I show you the way out. But I have something more to ask of Come you. Come on. Yes, yes, I become fine. And so much more when when you agree to finish what I start. Sahela, she is she is everything. A ruler, a seer, a knower, a child. I have nothing here but where the elves roam, I think there is nothing they do not give. Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. Yes. A secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. That's what I want. I give you this amulet. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. I go to her. I wish you good luck. At Very good. Let's see what's in these barrels here. Or I'll I'll punch your lights out. Fine. Stay right there. Alright. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Again, thank you. Um not much evil happened today. Uh, I do need to get off of Fort Joy. Once that happens, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. But again, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. All that good stuff. Come back next time. Bye.